Stephen A. Smith, did the Saints prove they are the best team in football? Right now, I think they are. I think they are, and I, I don't. I think it's almost it's virtually impossible for anybody to walk away with a different conclusion. Obviously, tonight's Monday night game between the Rams and the Chiefs might have some kind of impact on on, on such commentary. But at the end of the day, it's it's just hard to to deny what we're witnessing take place before our very eyes. We're looking at a guy in Drew Brees that's completing nearly 80 percent of his passes. We're looking at Michael Thomas that has arrived as one of the top five receivers in football. We're seeing a rookie like a Traquan Smith have a about, what is it, 10 receptions for about 157 yards. I mean, we're seeing a dynamic duo out of the backfield in Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. We're seeing an offensive line protect one of the greatest quarterbacks this game has ever seen, having one of the greatest years one could possibly imagine. And then all of a sudden, your defense is coming together just a little bit there. You, you acquired Eli Apple a couple of weeks ago. You held the reigning defending Super Bowl champions to seven points. I'm looking at the Philadelphia Eagles. I told y'all. Friday, when we asked what chance, zero, absolutely positively zero. And then Carson Wentz proved it, Max, because guess what? He turns over the ball early in the game. It's like a seven-point game or whatever. And he's throwing his helmet on, 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 you know, on, on the ground, on the sideline. Why? Because he knew in a game like this, you can't afford to make any mistakes because you can't stop this well oiled machine and that's exactly what the New Orleans Saints are right now their defense is not great we understand that but their secondary seems to be coming together Williams and Lattimore in that secondary adding Eli Apple to the mix they're getting at a quarterback they're applying pressure and if they can give you anything anything at all you know the offense is going to do the rest so when you say that I would say to you their offense is just as good as Kansas City's or L.A.'s, and their defense, at least over the last several weeks, might be arguably a little bit better. I'm going to sit a. up there and say right now the Saints are the best team in football. Stephen A., I thought you were going to go the Chiefs. So what changed your mind? Is it just the defense that you saw last night? Well, it's the combination of the fact that the offense is so unstoppable and the defense is improving a little bit. That's how I'm viewing no, it. It's not, the, the answer right now is the Saints. They are the best team in football. But it is actually because of the defense. Their offense is unstoppable. We know that. You know what other offense is unstoppable? Kansas City. You know what other offense is unstoppable? Los Angeles. You can't stop these offenses. They're all excellent. They're all as, just about as good as an offense could be. The difference is this year the Saints are playing defense in a way that the Chiefs aren't and the Rams aren't. The Saints have been stopping the run basically all year. They're good against the run. But now, last night, you saw him getting after the quarterback, too. I mean, Carson Wentz was totally flummoxed. And when you look at the final score, it's not, they outscored the, the Eagles essentially 7-1. to one. That's what 48-7 to seven means, six touchdowns and a couple field goals to a touchdown. It's basically 7-1 to one you're outscoring the defending Super Bowl champions. The other thing about the Saints is they have home field. They beat Los Angeles at this moment. And maybe they could even go on the road if the playoffs were to start at this moment. But at home, Drew Brees at home has been completely insane. But Stephen A, not long ago, matter of fact, last week I saw your power rankings. What, did you have the Saints like third or fourth? Yep. And you were raving about Kansas City. Yep. What's your point? Well, Kansas City hasn't played yet. If I they beat the Rams tonight, I, I, who's I, your number one? I specifically told you. My list is fluid. It's Stevens' <laughs> A list. Okay, it's not Max's. It's not the NFL's. It's not pundits. Out there. It's my list, and it's fluid. It fluctuates from week to week. 16 weeks, 17 weeks during the NFL season, you're going to see something every week that says Stevens' A list. Question. It is my list. I make the call. I am the CEO. It is the unanimous vote of one to zero, okay? It's uncompromising. I do me. What That's if how the it Chiefs, goes. What if the Chiefs go out and stomp the Rams tonight? Well, then we'll have a different discussion. But this uh, is not okay. – I'm sorry, we're not having first take on Tuesday morning after the Monday night game. We're well, having the first Saints take do? on Monday morning leading into the Monday night game, which I'm going to be at today, by the so way. So what did the Saints <laughs> do exactly – Okay. Last week to make you have them fourth. What is it? Just the Chiefs and Rams haven't played yet. 
Oh, I did not third, have them fourth. I had them third. Excuse I had them third. Me. So let's be accurate. So, so I had is them it third. just because the two teams ahead of them haven't yet played that the Saints are now number one well, on your list? Well, what I'm saying to you is that I expect I expect a, an epic encounter between the Chiefs and the Rams tonight. I expect to see great things, and I expect to see flaws in both teams. Yeah. I am looking at the New Orleans Saints, and I'm watching them steamroll over one opponent after another after another. And the big thing for me, Max, the one thing I have been consistent about with this is that I think that Drew Brees is a league MVP. I've said that for weeks now. A lot of people's on Patrick Mahomes' tip, okay? Others have mentioned Aaron Donald and others. I have been on the Drew Brees bandwagon for the last several weeks. This brother is just on another level, and he's having an all-time season, and I'm watching him perform, and I'm thinking that that's the difference right now. Stephen A., when you say I expect to see great things and I expect to see flaws, be more specific. What great well, I, things I, I, and what I, flaws? No, no, the only reason I'm – well, we're going to get into that as the show progresses because we will be talking about the Chiefs and the Rams, which is why I didn't get too specific with no, them. No, you can get but, into it. It's not till the end of the show. It's fine. All right. Well, uh, for me personally, I'm thinking that we're going to see flaws from the defensive side of the football with L.A. because of their secondary. If Akeem Tlaib ain't back, you still got mm -hmm. Marcus Peters out there. We're willing to see what kind of struggles he's going to have or not have. We know what we're going to get from Aaron Donald. But the rest, particularly L.A. secondary, not only that, they're playing without Cup. So we'll see whether or not they're compromised offensively. With the Chiefs, we've lamented the state of affairs with their defense for quite some time now. We've been waiting for Justin Houston and Eric Berry to get back to see what they're going to add to the equation defensively from Kansas City. But we don't know. They don't break, but they bend an awful lot. So we're going to see what they're going to bring tonight, and that's what I mean, that's what I mean when I say we'll see right. some great things, but we'll, we'll see some flaws.